Welcome to the Zombified Doctors Pack, a compilation of many data packs all working together to become basically modded. This fantastical world has new biomes and awe-inspiring terrain from Terralith. It has Bracken's new dimensions reaching deep into the earth and high into the heavens. Three forms of magic reign here. The druidic powers of Floorcraft harness nature's essence itself, while Undercraft's magic draws from a more dark, demonic power. The third draws from Minecraft itself, using enchantments and potions to create amazing magical spells. I created this pack with Zombified T-Rav to make a world that is fantastical and magical and full of discoveries and adventure, and I think we've done that with this. So I hope you all enjoy, and uh, we'll see what adventures await. Uh, really quickly, you want to start over? Um... Hello, <laughs> this is Trog and Zombified t Rev here. <laughs> I just punched a wisp in this, uh... This new series, episode one, right to start out with. So, this is a culmination of a lot of different data packs that we've decided, uh, we like, kind of... We want to include in almost like a modded series. The vision. That noise again. So throughout this video, the audio is a little bit weird. I got my soundtracks mis mixed up and there's like repeats and stuff and I couldn't separate them like I usually do. So um, you'll hear a few weird things here and there, but I tried to fix it as best I can. It'll be fixed for the next episode. It's one of our magic mods uh, or our well, magic tell. data packs. Yeah. So... For this, we just kind of wanted to explore and try something new, similar to TTB, because we, we kind of started our YouTube journeys together in TTB. Um, so I guess we just start getting resources to start out with, start surviving. Dude, basically the same thing you do in every first day on Minecraft. Exactly. We've got, if you can tell, the sounds are a little different. That's because we have a sound, more immersive sound pack thing on. And we also have uh, resource packs to make sure the textures like this one here doesn't show up as a structure block and actually shows up as the raw aridic essence something. But uh, in the description, you'll find a full list of the data packs. So what do you think about this biome that we started in? Oh, it looks sick. I think so, too. I don't know that this is a place I want to live, though, because look at that water. Yeah, it looks... It's real gross. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like the mountains around here instead of the waterfalls. If only the water looked cleaner. Yeah, I know. It, it just looks like it's full of dirt and mud, which is cool, but not quite what I want out of uh out of a base right we need some grappling hooks to get around do you want to start getting food and i'll start trying to get the materials for the grappling hook so the grappling hooks are going to be big for us to get around without having to block everything up like you know yeah so i currently have 21 which is enough actually so enough copper Oh, there's a uh, ruined netherport over there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's huge. It actually could have a lot of different items uh, in it. Yeah. Different packs, so go check it out. I will. I can't sprint, though. Oh, no. Ooh. We got blessed fragments. Uh, charm cow... Cowardice? Charm cowardice? Yeah, and some demon skins. Yeah, that is from Under Magic, which is, um, it's not something we should uh -oh. be messing with. Turning nighttime. What do you mean? It's can't mess with um, this. demon power. And your point is? It's, uh, I don't know. It's just, you know, it doesn't seem right. I would rather, like, these essences floating about. We could use that instead of demons but demons sound cooler 
Well, you're not wrong, but okay, where <laughs> are you? Because I have no idea. There you are. Huh? Right behind you. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the portal's this way. Okay, we should... Ooh, look at the sky, though. I know. Oh, it looks so good. Um, it looks better than a snowy tundra. Oh, really? Did Were you at a snow? Yeah. I tested out in a single-player world. Oh, gotcha. Should we... Um... I'm still looking for, like, a lake somewhere that I don't have to, like, jump off a cliff to get to. There's, there's one right over there. Near the nether portal. If you keep going. Oh, okay. Here it is. Doesn't look like much, but... Uh... Oh god, this is why. <laughs> this, this is my issue. It has durability too, so I have some issues with that, but here you go. It makes sense. Like, everything in this game has durability. Yeah. If you... Uh, so if you hover over it, it'll give you more instructions. Ah. Right-click to launch the hook. Uh, once hooked, it's stuck. and release the grapple switch. Try the one... Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Oh, God. You're gonna die. How to do this without dying? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's mainly for caves. Okay. There you go. Can you make copper armor with this mod pack? No. Oh. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Ah, good morning. So, what is our objective? That is a good question. Maybe looking for... Settle down, right? Yeah. Okay. So, these are the trees. I don't think these are big enough, though. This is a nice place, but I don't... What do you think? Do you think these are big enough? I feel like they're too skinny, some of them. Like, it's a cool-looking place. But for, like, tree houses and stuff, I feel like that matches more with the jungle vibe than dark oak. Right. <laughs> Also, I don't really want to live next to a swamp. Yeah, that's fair. You already do. Oh, I thought I pushed. Yeah. We should also be looking for alpha islands. Oh, that might actually be an alpha island right there because of the cow. No, the. Yeah, that's it. Go forward. This? This small island? Look at that grass. Oh, look at the water. Yeah, it's alpha. Even more awesome if they actually retextured the blocks to look like alpha. Yeah, that would be cool. If they could do that, but I think they're yeah. messing with the biome colors. Yeah. Still cool though. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, this is this is all alpha here. Yeah. Oh, this brings back memories actually. And this is exact this is actually alpha terrain generation, or at least it looks like it, right? Yeah, pretty much. What do you say? That way, because this is an island, so we can start exploring and whatnot and hopefully find something better. Um, there's a lot of pigs everywhere. There's no cows. That might be an issue, but... Look at that arch. Ooh. Oh, it's a cave. It's a cave. Yes. Dude, dude. Remember Yawk's cast? Yes, I do. <laughs> Does this bring back, like, any kind of nostalgia? A little bit, yes. So instead of the Yacht Cave, or whatever they call it, I can't remember. What should we call this? What is that? 
I can only see your back of your head. Look at that. Oh, wow. What is that? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, no. It's like a drowned. It is a drowned temple. There's like another one over there. Oh, it goes even further down. There's a lot of them. I'm running away. Let's let's live in the cave and not away from them. Go, go, go. It's not much of a cave. It's actually just an arch, but still it looks sweet. It does. And we can totally dig into it, make a base, change some stuff up. I love it. What should we call this? What should we call it? I don't know. Um, T cave. Cause they're chalk on T wrap. The T cave. The T cave. Okay. Yeah. It's going to dig in a little bit. Make like a little, little cubby hole. Yeah. And then we'll start setting stuff up. Yeah. Okay. So according to this, I need two sticks. Is that a crafting table? Yeah. Okay. Here. Look at this. I am trying to make that. Uh, go a few pages over. Oh, there's pictures. Yep. What is that thing? Uh, seeds, crafting table, sticks, stone. Infusion workbench. Where should I put this? Oh, we've got essence and stuff for that. Put the book, pull the book out a little bit more. Let's see. Can we do anything right now? So one orange, one blue, one green. Uh, within the workbench, this Oculus can be made in order to allow the, in order to allow me insight deeper into the magic. So, I mean, I haven't read it. I just skimmed it. So, and then I put these in. No, that's dropped them. And then go in there. Oh, oh, okay. So I... How'd you put it in there? I put it in the uh, top bit with the color swirls around it. Nature Oculus. Ooh. Oh, they are a little bit glitchy next to each other. Okay, so these are locked. Unavailable, unavailable. Unavailable with new in town. Oh, oh look. If you, if you page over... That's something that we'll have to read the book about, but this is cool. So we've started our, yeah. our, our druidic craft of magic. Um, so that's fun. But uh, on that note, I think we're probably going to end it off here. Uh, there's a lot to discover and a lot to do. But uh, for the meantime, I think we're going to start getting some basic resources down and whatnot. That way we can do other stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed. Let us know. I forgot that you did that. <laughs> <laughs>